Ladies and gentlemen, the following triple threat match is sponsored by AEA Designs and Screen Printing and is to be officiated by referee Josh Gap. Your competitors are as follows. First, hailing from Brazy County, he is straight Brazy, Braden Lee! And his opponent, hailing from Indianapolis, Indiana, he is baby girl, Kevin Giza! <laughs> and their opponent, hailing from the south side of Chicago, he is Don't Die, Miles Morales! All right, New Wave Pro Wrestling fans here on IWTV, we are back at Complex Chaos. We have a, obviously gonna be a banger of a triple threat match. I, and I think I speak for us both when I say bear with us here because this action, now we're going to see stupid athleticism. Oh yeah. Uh, Autobahn speed here. Uh, this is going to go 100 miles per hour. And uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, we're, I guess we're gonna start off with a feet of strength between the three. Nope. Braden Lee here uh, coming off in his uh, last match at New Wave Pro. A little bit of a tainted victory uh, or a tainted loss to Sage Phillips. Well, you were kind of speaking about that mean streak, too, of Sage. And, you know, Braden is looking to avenge that. But Kevin looking to start this match off in total control, and he has it. Oh, uh, Braden and uh, Kevin Giza here had some absolute bangers uh, for the Junior Heavyweight Championship at IWA Mid-South. Oh. oh, oh, Giza couldn't hit the kip up. Oh wait, he's asking for another chance. Oh, he found the hard cam. Oh, oh, oh he got up. <laughs> looks like me trying to get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> Brother, you ain't lying. Uh, don't die, Miles Morales uh, in his last oh. New Wave Pro match. Uh, won a two out of three falls with uh, Nate Matthews, ending their, seemingly ending their, their feud that they had had going on at uh, New Beginnings, which is also available oh. on TV. Huge go, chop. Go check that out, but don't leave us here because this match is about to pick up oh. quick. Float over. Get to the backslide. backslide. Whoa. You know, I will say for somebody that's nickname is Don't Die. I'm pretty sure Miles almost dies at least once a match. If not two or three times. Oh, springboard oh. cross body. Could Deep. have been it there with the former tag partners, Miles and Brayden. Oh. But in a triple threat, there's there's no brothers. There's oh, no yeah. tag teams. It's it's you yourself and you. Well, it is one of those things. Every once in a while you'll see the uh, the Odd Alliance, which with them being former tag team chan or tag team partners, uh, you might see them unite against uh, baby girl Kevin Giza here. Well, and Kevin Giza is talented in his own right. You're talking about his championships across the Midwest here, so he is just as much of a threat as anybody else in this match. Oh, 100 percent. And how annoying is Braden? He got even more jacked, brother. How annoying is that? As a big guy yourself too. I mean, I'm a big guy. It's annoying. It hurts my feelings. And look at it. Just athletic for no reason. One of the hottest blue chippers I think I've ever seen. Nobody has taken to professional wrestling from amateur wrestling the way Braden Lee has. 100%. Got Where's Kevin Giza up on his shoulders there. Oh, see? Miles. Oh! No way! That's two grown men. Oh, no. What are we... Oh! Oh! oh. Why? Oh, going for the cover. They both better kick out. Hey, that's smart, too, for the price of one there. I was about to say. He thought that was it. I mean, I, I do not blame you there, Braden. 100%. He better, he better turn back around, though. But it is going to take a lot more to keep down Kevin Giza and a guy who's called Don't Die. Well, front facing, uh, front headlock here. Suplex. Oh. He thought. Uh-oh. Oh, big forearms to the back. Braden going where his happy place is, up to the top. Not happy for Kevin Giza, though. Have you seen anyone just so comfortable on the top? The top Miles? The top ropes? Well, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Oh! 
See, he knows exactly where to oh, place those kicks. Both of them. A little mini super kick there. He's got aim assist on. Oh. Miles Morales showing some fiery spirit here. Well, he needs it. This crowd is fully behind him. And going up against Kevin and Brayden, he's going to need that if he wants to pull out the victory. Oh, Hurricane Rana? Ooh. Nope. Nope. Brayden's giving him the Dikembe Mutombo finger. He said, uh-uh. Oh! Kevin catching part of Braden there as Miles Morales launches him up. Oh, oh my God! And they're they're all three down, all of them knocked out. Guys, we said you weren't going to be able to call this action that's happening right here, and it's it's been absolutely insane here at the start. And whoever gets up to their feet first, I think they have the advantage here in this match. You want to stay on top of both of your opponents because in a triple threat, you have to keep your eyes in the back of your head at all times. Which is really hard to do when you've got that sweet ponytail that, that Kevin Giza has. Oh, I thought you were right going to talk about mine. <sighs> we're not going to talk about your hair right now. Ooh. Ooh. And a knockout drag out fight is not what I expected to see from not these three. All. But you can tell how much this match means to all of them. And it's one of those things Ooh. like the fans think whenever you don't hear like a loud smack on that chop that it didn't hurt. I promise you, it's those low thudding ones that hurt the most. The, where there's no give, there's oh, yeah. no break. Oh! There's no break when you're slapping each other in the face. Forearms galore from both of these two. Oh! Oh, Braden gets the better of the exchange. And now he's just absolutely beating Kevin Giesen. And, and one here. of the best mat wrestlers oh. in the oh. best. Don't necessarily think striking is his forte, and he's on the mat now. Oh, Braden. Oh! oh! What a code breaker variation that was. Right on the chin, the sternum, the chest, catching everything there on Kevin Giza. And Braden Lee trying to get this crowd behind him. You know, th they have a love-hate relationship with Braden. Um, he, he has a little bit of an ego. Well, whenever you have 12-pack abs, I think you have a right to be to Na have an ego. People naturally don't like you. Oh, 100%. Oh, <laughs> there's that loud knife-edge chop that you were talking about from Braden. Man. Fireman's carry here for Braden Lee. Oh, he says it's over. Not if Miles can help it. Oh, <laughs> step up in Zaguri. Oh, what a jumping neck breaker. Miles can't stall here. He's got to go. Oh, standing shooting star. Oh. And when you are Miles Morales and you are a little bit smaller than the competitors that you are facing, you have to use your body as your weapon. Ooh. And that's what Miles has gotten best at. And Kevin, a little bit of an opportunist here. Well, that's the thing. You're talking about Miles' body. Whenever you're also the smaller man, you are more likely to be thrown just completely around the ring. Just because they can. Just because the competitors can throw oh, you around. Oh, Giza, Giza. Going to the top rope. Oh! oh! The hardest part of the ring. Kevin Giza splashes Miles on the apron. His entire body, too. It, oh. it wasn't just his feet. It wasn't just a forearm. It was his body, and here is his body again. Giza misses. Miles. Oh. Oh. Backstabber. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh. Oh. Oh, he's going for the. I think he might be set up for the Verna Breaker. Oh, oh, my God. That's, That's got to be it. That's good. No oh. way. Absolutely no way. Miles Morales bouncing off of his knees eight feet in the air. The hang time that that man just got, and he kicks out at two. No, no way did I think that was happening. I was 99.9% .9 sure that was it. Oh, Giza's getting a little frustrated. Braden trying to eye his, his opponent here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It was a springboard trouble in paradise variation. Oh, Giza slips out. Uh-oh. Found the hard cam. Oh, and he eats it. Oh. Oh. That's, that's two. We told you we couldn't call this. 
Oh no. What is What in the world? Is a stalling pile driver? Just letting the blood rush to, to Giza's head. Oh! <laughs> That's it. Oh! And we are just as in shock as Braden Lee is after that stalling pile driver. Two words I never thought I'd say together. I've, I don't, I'm sure, I'm sure someone's done it, but I don't know that I've seen that in my lifetime. That was absolutely insane. Braden in total control of this match here. For Kevin, the lights are on, but nobody's home. Are we getting another pile driver? Might as well. I mean, when you have the freakish athleticism. Oh! Oh. oh, the finger. The ring awareness of Kevin Giza is unmatched. I mean, the man has not won championships for just no reason. Knows exactly where he is in the ring, knowing Braden Lee has his number. Braden Lee not knowing how close he is to the ropes. The inexperience on Braden Lee's part, I, I will admit. Braden taking Giza to the top rope here. What in the world is he going for? I feel like I say that oh, no. 52 is times during a Braden match. I thought he was setting up for a pile driver from the top rope. Knowing he can do oh, anything. Oh my goodness. And Kevin. Oh no. Oh! <laughs> oh no. Lord have mercy. Not a good spot. Braden's oh. in a good spot though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Superplex! And look how much that hurt Braden. Uh -oh. Look uh -oh. at Kevin. Uh oh, look at the corner. Miles Morales going to the top rope. Swat oh. Todd Bomb. Oh my God. That's here's an upset. Don't die, Miles Morales. What an upset here at Complex Chaos.